Good morning, I'm Jack Hanula, the poet, and I'm reading a poem this morning from my residence, my studio in San Miguel de Allende in Mexico. And I'm reading a poem called Portrait of a Poet. It is in honor of a friend, a poet and a writer named Rebecca Heron Bass. Part one, the lady. She rises in the sultry morn when of her dreams her mind is shorn, dreams that are most midnight born, of streams forgotten, dreams forlorn, all cast aside to greet the day, their marks upon where she did slay, where to the gods of love she had pray where in her mind her verse should say, afore the words wouldst fade away. Rebecca tis the poet's name, a lady writer quite a dame, who with her writing nudges fame, though fortune's not her chiefly aim, or from the source from which she came, this chanting lady, stately dame. She writes of love, its many tastes, each word, each phrase, so balanced is. She writes of love, just what it is, yet not a word the lady wastes. Her prose is like a river's flow. She pens the things we thought we'd know, but alas, we know them not. She flips around the things we thought and turns the dark to beams of light and turns the night to shades of bright, dark shades of gray to our delight and demons deeds for our insight. Part two, her portrait. With graceful pose and models flare, she sits upon my arch's chair with low-slung dress and pull-back hair and in her eyes a flash of dare for me to set a striking pose for her to hold with balance set a pose she held whilst our eyes met eyes that framed her dimpled nose as neatly as her loose fit clothes. Oh, the pose she struck that day, a pose that with mine eyes didst play, whose memories in my mind didst stay, whose memories didst not go away. With brush in hand I framed her face, her strands of hair like sun-tanned lace that fell upon her graceful neck. Then in her cleavage didst bedeck, and hinted of her hidden soul, a soul as deep as embered coal. And with a wave of my left hand, she rose and stepped upon the band of wave-washed golden grainy sand that formed the edge of her life's speech, that from her birth to future's reach from a small town in the Midwest to Colima's volcanic crest. Part three. Slowly pass the days and nights when pen in hand, she often writes to stroke our joys and our delights, oft planted in our secret gardens, where nightshade blooms and cactus hardens. Dispersed within the winds of pardons, near the pool that is Poseidon's. So with, so this is where you find this dame, who holds aloft her candle's flame, to focus on her dream's poised aim. Rebecca is the lady's name. 2017.